So I'm having a blast with my uh, full stack Golang side hustle that I'm making an SSL tracker, basically a certification tracker for SSL where people can basically uh, give some domains and um, they will be checked um, each day basically and if they are almost at expiry you're gonna get notified webhook and all that stuff slack teams whatever um i think it's a a problem that needs to be solved um and that's what i'm building right so basically let me show you uh, uh some stuff how it works right now and then we're going to refactor some uh minor issue and it's pretty interesting right it's a pretty interesting uh, problem that is going to benefit you benefit you so basically this one uh let's sign in first uh, let me press this button, yeah. So it's gonna sign me in. I'm using Superbase uh, all on the backend, by the way. I'm not using Superbase with the Superbase client. I'm using Superbase as basically uh, a provider to store my Postgres data. And uh, I'm basically using only the authentication part for um, my authentication and all the rest is basically just with DBX Query Manager, right? Uh, by the way, guys, if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, please give me uh, a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Uh, leave some questions in the comments and jump into my Discord community, uh, all links down below. And for the people that are interesting how I built this, uh, completely from scratch in Golang, co full stack Golang with JavaScript bundled uh, with Parcel, Tailwind and all that stuff. Um, it's all on my Patreon, right? On my Patreon, I'm releasing two, one or two videos a day about this, how I built this up. Uh, also deployment, I'm gonna share everything marketing business side of this thing. So you guys know how uh, much effort it takes to actually create a side hustle and to basically get some traction and some users. Hey, anyway, let's continue. Uh, the problem is this, let me quickly zoom in. It's already zoomed in. That's good news. So basically we have this domains, which is a list of the domains you're gonna track. And then we have this beautiful add domains, right? And if you wanna add a domain, you can copy paste a list of comma separated domains you wanna track and all that stuff, uh, good. But if we press track domains, you're gonna see that we have a problem here. Why? Because we didn't uh, insert anything. So that's a, a check we do. But the problem is look at here, right? This action is right. I'm gonna zoom in here because I think it's going to be uh, yeah, something like that. This is actually, yeah, this is maybe better. So you can see that we are actually at the track new domains page, but this is getting active, right? Actually, this needs to get active because this is the list and this is the domains. But if you press track, we are back here. Why? I'm going to show you. Uh, I'm going to show you not right now. So let me quickly, first of all, go to my JSON here so I can uh, bump the size up here, right? So the problem is, <coughs> the problem is in our domain, right? So basically this is handle post domain. And if you wanna know, uh, I'm gonna make a new video, I think tomorrow about how I uh, set everything up, right? How I built this, it's with, it's with fiber, but how I, I hook things up. I have a lot of cool helper functions and all that stuff directly in the view. Uh, it's, it's, it's amazing, right? Um, yeah, so basically handle post domain. So what we do here is basically we get the user input from the form. We do a string replace all to remove the white spaces and all that stuff, right? And then we, uh, if, if there is basically no domain, which is our problem that, uh, that we're testing, um, we're gonna inject something. We're gonna basically set a value in the form errors map, and then we're gonna render domains new with that context, right? And that's a problem because it's this render here that basically, let me show you, let me explain you. We're gonna, we have a, a, a route which is basically um, slash domains slash new, right? That's, that's basically this thing, right? Domains new, this one, right? You see, domains new. But if we post, if we do a post request, we post to slash domains, right? And then actually, if there is an error, is error, we need to basically uh, redirect back to domains new, right? The problem is that we don't have any, we, in, with a redirect, we cannot pass values, right? Um, but we can, there is, an, there is a, a solution, right? So that's what we're gonna fix. So the problem is here that we uh, render. So that's basically, we're gonna comment that out. We need to do a redirect. There is a cool package, which is called this flash package here. Uh, it's going to be suyet baninja flash. It's for fiber, amazing. So that's what we need, it's already installed, right? Uh, just go get the, the shenanigans and you are fine. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically say something like a return uh, flash dot with data, right? With data and we are going to say, uh, the context needs to be in here and then we're going to pause in a map, right? And then we're gonna call 
X is the map. Actually, to be honest, maybe we can do form errors. That's fine. And then we're going to redirect the user back to slash domains new. Perfectly fine. Delete this. Uh, the problem is that this domain is going to conflict with this domains. Because that's basically the list. If they make a small mistake, let's say you're going to paste in 30 domains and there is one mistake, then all your domains are gone. So we also need to find a way for that. So I'm going to call this domains error, right? We don't need this for now. Wait, let me quickly see. This is going to be domains error. Please provide at least one valid domain name. We're going to redirect this thing. Perfectly fine. The next thing we need to do is go to our middleware in our handler middleware, this one. And we're going to make a function, func with flash c fiber ctx errors. And we're going to say that the values of that flash is going to be uh, flash get c. And then we're going to say c locals, uh, locals, locals, flash values, return c dot next. Press save and call it a day. Then we go to our main file. And then I'm going to say with authenticated users, uh, maybe we can do app use, use rather uh, handlers uh, with flash. This one, delete this one, save that. Now I need to open up my new view, right? This is my new view. That's the view you see here, the, the new. Right, so what we're going to do is instead of doing form errors, we're going to say flash dot domains error. And then we're going to say here flash dot domains error. And that's going to be it, I think. Make run. Let's see this. Let's press boom. Uh, cannot get domain new. That's true because uh, I made a mistake. Well, there are no mistakes. I made a little, little, a little happy accident, right? Bob Ross, the cure of all depressions, anxiety, and uh, yeah, those things. So make a run, boom. I'm gonna go back here, refresh the page, track domains, boom, right? So now it's already fixed. Look at that, add domains, and we, are, we stay here. We stay here, we click here, boom, we stay here, error here. <laughs> Amazing, but there is a problem. Let's say I do send it dot sh and then I say for example uh, invalid domain and I press and I press track domains boom we are back here no errors it's all borked so we need to fix that also um, this is the domains form errors I'm gonna say here this form errors is basically a flash in my opinion. And the context can, we don't need a context, in my opinion here. We need a fiber map. And this is going to be the flash. No, flash data maybe. Then we're going to do a var here to make things a little bit cleaner. Wait, what's going on here? Up, up, string, replace all, maybe something like that. This is going to be the flash data. Flash data. Flash data. Uh, flash data. Copy this, paste that in. Copy this, paste that in. Delete this boy, girl, whatever he's de he, he decides to be that day, right? Someday he's strong, someday he's weak. Right, boom, look at that. Flash data, flash data, flash data. Uses domain input. That's bad. Um, this is actually a problematic problem here. That's no problem, I'm gonna do this. We're gonna assign that, delete, delete, do that. Uh, actually, to be honest. Back from where we came, it's fine. So we're gonna check this, domains is that. Flash, flash, flash. Authenticated users, redirect domains. Make run, try it again. Wait, we are here. Let me click here, click here. 
Test this one, perfectly fine. This is working. Now with a send it uh, valid one, send it uh, dot zip or something and send it dot sh and then something wrong. So why do we need this? We gonna we also need to carry over the domains. So because let's say I have basically entered two domains, but let's say I, I, I took the time to basically uh, with my two fingers type in 20 domains because they don't know control C and control V or command C, command V. And they track domains, they have one mistake, they're gonna lose everything and they're gonna be so fucking pissed and they will never come back and they will hang themselves on the first tree they can find, right? Uh, so we're gonna try this, boom, there's a problem, right? So we are still at this page, but we don't see any problem here and we are lose everything. So that's a nasty thing that we need to fix. So it's a new here. This is flash domain errors. Uh, and here is my, my, my text area, right? Value hello, this is not even valid. I was testing stuff, you see. Relics of ancient times. Um, so name domains, fine. And then is domains, that's, that's gonna be flash domains, right? Flash domains. Um, but flash domains error did we actually set that here also no we have a problem here okay this domains error this needs to be domains error this can be domains that are the domains we put in this is going to be an error domains error and that's the domains here all right cool make run boom 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 juggle juggle send it dot sh comma send it dot zip comma something that doesn't exist track boom and then look at this beautifully we stripped already the white space good from from me it's not a valid domain cool and then of course later on we can use some javascript to highlight this thing maybe we can use those tags uh, each time they basically press a comma is going to be a tag but that's all for after the mvp right we could spend days doing that stuff right uh, but we're not going to do that we're going to do the mvp and this is fine so now they know that this thing is this thing and it's bad so we're going to do google uh, dot com here and then track domains hopefully no error boom and you can see that uh, the ones that already been added for your user ID gonna stay so they're not gonna be added but we have Google here and we can see that it's the Google Twisted Services LLC that is the issuer of the certificate and it's basically expiring in 51 days somebody call the cops so that's the thing it's healthy which is basically a very odd color um, but it's, yeah, I don't know, maybe I need to do green green or something, some, something cool. This is like, I don't know, so it sounds a little bit depressing to me. But hey, it's the day's UI team. Hey, I need to, like I said, go fast. Hey, look at that. So we're done, so we're going to log out and call it a day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, it's all on the Patreon, how I built this stuff. If you want to do this, the same thing. I'm going to release a video about how to set up some kind of a similar structure for your projects. And hey, I see you on my private Patreon community or in the Discord or on a live stream. Have a nice fucking weekend.